The only person that can satisfy your needs is God. And let me tell you why he can satisfy your needs. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Today I'm going to be making a video about um, reasons why you should not rely on money. And I know you're like, huh? Like, what you mean we shouldn't rely on money? That's how we pay our bills. That's how we do this. That's how we do that. But I'm about to break it down, okay? So y'all can understand. But first, like, I know you're like, girl, it ain't Christmas no more. Look, it is cold in the house. Well, it's not cold no more, but it was cold. I'm just having its own just case it get cold again. And so, yeah. If y'all hear me stuttering stuff, y'all know I get very nervous when I get on camera. So, yeah. And do not mind the hair for some reason. I just didn't feel like doing it, so. Yeah. That's not the purpose of this video, though. So, yeah. Let's get into the video. So, the first thing I said was, the reason why you should not rely on money is because money is temporarily. Okay. So, the first reason why you should not rely on money is because money is temporarily. How is money temporarily? How da, 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 da. The things, if y'all read the Bible, it says in there, the things that are seen is temporarily. The things that are unseen is eternal. So, God, you know, we can't see him. He's eternal, of course. Heaven, eternal life, you know, all those things, right? Everything that we see in this life is temporarily. TV, iPhones, money, shoes, everything, books, everything is temporarily. And let me tell you why. Like I said the first time, it says in the Bible, things that are seen is temporarily. It's not going to be here forever. And that's the first reason why you should not rely on money because it's temporarily. And I know, like, I mean, what do you mean? And I already explained it, but I know some people are still going to be like some people like, huh, that don't make sense. It, it does. I'm going to just, like, put the Bible scripture up somewhere where it tells y'all, like, money, like, everything, everything that's seen is temporarily and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the first reason why you should not rely on money because you should not rely on something that's temporarily because something that's temporarily is not, it's not going to be here forever. It's not going to support you. It's not going to satisfy you forever. So that's why you should not rely on money. That's the first reason why you should not rely on money. I know I keep repeating what I'm saying and some of these points might be me doing that, but it's just like work with me here. I'm still young. You know, I had a whole bunch of reasons in my head, but like as soon as I'm ready to do the video, the I'm sorry, as soon as I'm trying to do the video, the reasons leave, you know, so, like, stick with me. You understand. <laughs> the second reason why you should not rely on money is because money cannot buy you happiness, and I have a scripture for this. But, um, yeah, so, the reason why you should not rely on money is because money cannot buy you happiness. There's so many people in this world that rely on money to bring them so much happiness, buying Ferraris, Hellcats, uh, buying Birkin bags, Gucci, Prada, uh, buying big old mansions, and they be they be and they buy themselves. So you can buy anything in this world. You can eat, by the way. Look at it. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can eat as much as you want. You can make yourself full, but guess what? You still go you still go hungry again. So it's like nothing in this world that we're in can satisfy us we can only get the full satisfaction from god and that's one thing i don't like that we do and why i say we do because i include myself too i'm not gonna sit here and like huh, i ain't do that because i do that too but i was just trying to say that but basically what i'm saying is we cannot rely on stuff in this world to bring us happiness we can't rely on money to bring us happiness mansions and and cars and 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 lip gloss and makeup not saying nothing nothing wrong with putting that on but stop you know relying on that stuff so you can feel beautiful and stop relying on the car because you want to flex on everybody and stop trying to buy big old things because you got money like you got to save that money like invest it into something you know so yes and i'm about to go ahead and read the scripture before i forget so um forgive me if i pronounce this wrong but estelias I'm sorry, I do not know how to, I do not know how to pronounce this Bible book, but I'm gonna put it in on the um screen somewhere. Uh Estelia's five chapter ten. Those who love money will never have enough. How meaningless to think that wealth brings true happiness. And that's true. Uh, by the way, I believe that's an NLT version because I I forgot to put the um parentheses around the verses, but Yeah. So that's why that's another reason why you should not rely on money. 
The second reason why you should not rely on money is because money is addicting. You know what I mean by that? What I mean by money is addicting is people, they just make it their life. They feel like, oh, if I don't got money, I don't want to. They just act so selfish. Like, man, if I ain't got money, man, I don't want to deal with nobody. I don't want to do this and do that. Like, when I when I say money is addicting, I just can't explain it. You know, I can't. I really can't explain it. But money is very addicting because once you just keep getting money and money and money, Basically, people, they make it their possession. And when you make something in this world your possession, like um, how you make your phone your possession, how you make a TV your possession, um, like and like, like I said, how you can make money your possession, you know, if you love it deeply and, you know, stuff like that. It's like, um, it's like being addicted to a... Um, it's like being addicted to porn, you know, if you keep going back to it. That's that's something that you um keep going back to and stuff like that. It's like it's like that, being addicted. And when you're addicted to something, it's 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 bad. So that's why you should not be addicted because money can be addicting, like that's just something that you rely on, rely on, and rely on. And y'all go understand this whole video as soon as I'm at the end. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um The fourth reason is because God is our shepherd. So, yeah, if everybody should know this famous verse. Psalm chapter 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So, the reason why I put this one as my fourth one is because the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want for anything. Because everything he gave us, we already have. God says we have everything to live a godly life. And, of course, we're going to struggle because it's still things in this world that gonna pull try to pull us in and like i said we got flesh it gonna our flesh want us to do fleshly things if that makes if that makes sense but like yeah but yeah the lord is our shepherd we should not want for anything we oh i want a car and i want a mansion and i want a i said mansion i'm oh, sorry i want a car and i want a mansion i said again but I want some shoes, and I want this, and I want that. I want food and things like that's not something we should worry about because God will give it to us. God is only going to give us something that we need. First of all, God is going to always give us the things that we need first. Okay? So we should not want for anything. We're not saying, man, I want this and I want that. That's probably not something that you need. It's just something that, like I said, like I said, it's just something that you want. But God's not going to give you something that's not going to benefit you. And that's exactly why I put God as our shepherd. Because we can go to him for anything. If if you're a parent and you're running low on bills, pray about it. You know God will always make a way. Like I said, because he's our shepherd. We shall not want for anything. And we shouldn't have a prized possession of money and be so addicted to it. Because at the end of the day, like I said, this money is temporarily. It's not going to be here forever. So we should not rely on money because the lord is our shepherd why do we feel like we have to always go back to man i need money man god if i don't get money then i'm gonna be broke and stuff like that because god will always provide a way even if you broke he gonna always provide a way he provided a way for people right now so we don't need to rely on money because god is our shepherd and he will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory so it does not matter he will always provide for us. And that's why we don't we should not rely on money. Okay. And then the last reason is you can end up idolizing money. And all you're like, huh? What you mean by that? <laughs> so like idolizing is like worshiping something. You know how you worship God, you tell him how good he is, and you be like, God, you're so great, you're so good. Thank you, Lord, for everything and stuff like that. That's like worshiping money. That's like bow, that's like bowing down to money and say, money, I want to say thank you and everything like that. I just want to say thank you, Lord. I mean, I'm sorry. I just want to say thank you, money, for providing a way so I can buy this mansion and buy this and buy that. First of all, why are you bowing down to something that God, God gave you? First of all, this is where the idol thing comes. You know... <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, I'm stuttering so bad. But you, see, you remember in the Bible, if you read the Bible, you know, in the books, like, it's many books in, like, the Old Testament where they worship, like, 
golden calves and they worship like different gods and stuff and when you worship money it's something like that because you should not worship that you can even worship a person like yes like when we be like yes queen to celebrities and we just like giving them all the praise and we bow down and we say when we do all this stuff like that's worshiping it's nothing i know it's like huh we just we just like their music and stuff what i mean by like idolizing like you make it you make it your possession you make it something that's very important and there's some things in this world are not important and we make it so important before this next clip plays i just want to say y'all the only reason why i'm saying all this is because i don't really care about money anymore like i don't care if i don't get 50 dollars bills and stuff like that i don't care if i don't get a hundred dollar bills and twenty dollar bills because at the end of the day i don't really care about money but if i get it i do appreciate it but it's just not something that i'm it's just not something that i care about anymore i used to like a lot but it's just something i don't care about anymore so yeah like money it's not it's important but it's not important important if you understand what i'm trying to say but like i said you can end up idolizing money you can end up worshiping money that and worshiping relying you can end up like making it and when let me tell you something god is a jealous god and he don't want us worshiping nobody 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 god is a just god and if he see you worshiping somebody or something he gonna be quick to take it away from you so don't even think that you about to get away with it <laughs> so yeah and those are my five reasons why you should not rely on money i know it felt like i kept saying the same thing the whole time the whole time but like i said a lot of things are just not coming to me right now because of the simple fact you know when i get on camera everything leaves my mind but i, know I had I, it's more but if, and if i do figure out the words i will Hey y'all so like i was saying and by the way i'm on a different phone because this phone hold way more stores than this phone so yeah like i was saying and before the camera off, i know it sounds like i keep saying the same thing but like i said you know a lot of things in my mind when i turn on the camera so let me continue what I, like what i was saying um i have like a couple scriptures i want to read before i end the video so yeah the first one is hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And some people craving money have wandered from the true faith and perceive themselves with many sorrows. And that's true. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. And the last one, which I have already read, but I'll read again. Forgive me if I pronounce this wrong. Um, Estelia chapter 5 verse 10. Those who love money will never have enough. How meaningless to think that wealth brings true happiness. And that's true. And so, y'all, I just want to sum up this whole video. If you still don't get what I'm trying to say, I'll probably do something in the, uh, I don't know why I did that. But <laughs> I'll do something in the description. Maybe it'll help you, you know. But, like I was saying, all I'm trying to say is, like, to sum up this whole video, this whole video, it just been on my mind. Like, I was literally about to do a sermon on this. <laughs> like, I wanted to do a whole sermon. Like, it's just so much I got, it's so much more I got to say. So much more, but I was gonna I was gonna make a short version for YouTube, but it's just I'm just trying to stress to y'all like don't 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 make don't worship money, don't worship something that's temporarily. Why would you worship something that's not gonna be here forever? You know, I just wish a lot of people would turn to God, but I understand because some people don't believe in God, and I just don't understand how you don't, but some people just don't believe in the Lord. So, like, this whole video was just to tell y'all, like, do not make money your prize possession. Don't rely on it. Don't do none of that. And I know you're like, well, I pay my bills with this. This is how I get my food. This is how I get my supplies and all this other stuff. I'm not saying that type of stuff. Yes, you, of course, we, like, need money, but we don't need it, need it. Like, you know how, uh, let's say, for example, a boy um, who play, like, 2K every day, like, Man, I need 2K. If I don't get my game in today, I ain't going to be able to do what I want to do and stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, do not make money your prize possession. Like, the kids shouldn't make 2K a prize possession, you know. And what I mean by possession is something that you, I cannot explain it. Something that you, like, hold dearly. Something you 
you put more satisfaction into like for for a person like you can you can worship a person you can do that um you can idolize a person and stuff like that like with celebrities how we say oh i want to be like this and i want to be like that we try to dress like the celebrity we try to do this and do that like don't do that you know because god has not put you on this earth to be like nobody else we are all unique and we are all different for a reason. We're not supposed to look like nobody. We're not supposed to, I mean, we're not supposed to look like nobody else. We're not supposed to dress like nobody else. It's just something that we, something unique in each, even, ah, <laughs> something unique in each and every one of us that's not supposed to be alike. So stop trying to do that. But like I was saying, like, just don't make money a big priority in your life because soon money is going to be gone like social media going to be gone this tv going to be gone this iphone going to be gone a lot of things in this world is going to be gone if we see it it's most likely going to be gone because if you like i said everything that is seen is temporarily everything that is not seen is eternal like when god talks about eternal life that's eternal that's something that's going to be there forever god is eternal that's why we don't see him he's unseen but, like I said, I was just making this video to let y'all know, like, y'all shouldn't rely on money. Don't make it a proposition. Because money is, people make money. I just can't explain it. Like, people just too, they, it's like they drug to money. It's sad. Like, ugh. There's nothing wrong with making money. There's nothing wrong with doing that and stuff like that. But what I'm trying to say is just don't, just don't, don't cherish money. Don't serve money. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, like I said, because, for example, a person, it's rich people out here that got mansions and they live by themselves, they can buy every single thing that they want and they will never be satisfied because they, cause some of them be the real, like really depressed and they buy as many things that they, as they want that will make them undepressed. You cannot have true happiness unless you go to the source and the source is the Lord Jesus Christ, the master, the Jehovah, the teacher, the counselor, the provider. You cannot find true happiness in this world because everything in this world, like I said, is temporarily. It cannot satisfy your needs. The only person that can satisfy your needs is God. And let me tell you why he can satisfy your needs because God can do anything. You say it, he can do it. Okay. He can heal you. He can provide for you. He can put money on your table so you can pay them bills for tomorrow. He can do anything. Okay. So don't, don't, you know, don't just, just don't rely on money, y'all. Cause we got, we got, we got somebody that's higher than money. We got somebody that's higher than a hundred dollar bill. We got somebody that's higher than one million dollars. And let me tell you who that person is. That person is Jesus. Christ. Okay. <laughs> That's why you should not rely on money. But yeah, I just wanted to say that um basically the whole message of this video is put God first. Don't put money first. Don't don't be addicted to money. Okay. But anyway, um love you guys. Um I'm out. Um I'm about to try to edit this video tomorrow Sundays and I don't do no work on Sundays cuz yeah, yeah. If y'all understand, y'all understand. The um, yeah, I'm about to get off of this, and I hope everybody have a blessed day. Okay, love God, love others, and baby, don't forget to love yourself. Love y'all.